Hi, I'm Lam. Welcome back to Keeping Up with the Queen. Today we are going to bring into the battlefield two facial oils. That's why I have very glowy, dewy look going on in celebration of these two oils. Now, one is a very luxurious product and one is a more um, drugstore kind of a price tag. The two products that I will compare today are the Drunk Elephant Virgin Marula Luxury Facial Oil. And I have side-by-side -side comparison with the ordinary 100% organic cold-pressed rose hip seed oil. Now, for the ordinary, um, they also have the exact do for this at Ulta but at Sephora they only have this and some other facial oil but they don't have the exact Marula oil. I think um, by comparing two different types of oils um, we, will, we will learn more about each type rather than just you know comparing the exact do. I'm going to try very hard to keep this video within 10 minutes because usually I talk so much. Drunk Elephant is a very luxurious uh, skincare, maybe not very luxurious, it's probably mid to high end skincare line. The brand is all about smart skincare, good ingredients, simple packaging, but very, very smart packaging. On the other side, The Ordinary is a very, very affordable brand at Sephora, probably one of the most affordable brands. Very simple ingredient list um, was targeted ingredients to each product, so each of the Ordinary's product has like a main ingredient and supposed to treat certain skin concern that you might have. So I do like that. Drunk Elephant is more mainstream. They have some targeted products, but most of their products can be used um, with every skin type. So they are not similar brands by any mean, but by chance I have the two oils so I just want to compare them side by side to see if it's really worth it to invest in an expensive facial oil. Let's get on to sephora.com and we'll read some facts about this product. So first of all I want to talk about the pricing. The Drunk Elephant Virgin Marula Antioxidant Facial Oil, the full size is 30 milliliter which is one fluid ounce and it retails for $72 and they have a mini size for $40 and that's gonna be 15 milliliters. The Ordinary Cold Press Rose Hip Seed Oil is retailing for $9.80 one fluid ounce 30 milliliters. Um, the Marula Oil is also the same price tag and the same amount of product but it's not on Sephora, it's on Ulta. That's the thing about The Ordinary, they don't, they don't have all of their products in one place. Marula oils is supposed to be rich in critical antioxidants and omega-6 and 9 and this oil is supposed to nurture, moisturize and balance while restoring a youthful glow and it can be used for normal dry combination and oily skin so every skin type. It's targeted fine lines and wrinkles, dryness and dullness, and uneven texture. The Marula oil from The Ordinary is also very similar to this, but now let's talk about rose hip seed oil. This is 100% rose hip seed oil, which is rich in linoleic acid uh, and pro-vitamin A that is both cold-pressed and organic. This oil has been shown to reduce signs of photo aging and many other skin condition. And this is supposed to be good for normal oily combination, dry and sensitive skin. These are very, very comparable products, even though they are different types of oils. Very simple, just one ingredient in each of these products, supposedly. Vegan and cruelty free and free of essential oils, silicones and fragrances. The ordinary is vegan, cruelty-free, organic, formulated without water, alcohol, silicone, nuts, and gluten. This packaging is UV protected and so is this. Those are some of the facts about these two products and now I'm going to show you the application on the skin as well as the texture. 
the Drunk Elephant Facial Oil. When you apply it, it's runny, but when you rub it onto the skin, it's very creamy. It's, and it does leave a very subtle glow onto the skin. And it takes very little effort to blend out. And after you uh, blend it into the skin and leave it on for about 5 minutes, it feels almost like you have a kind of thick moisturizer on, but it doesn't feel oily or it doesn't feel uncomfortable at all. And the Ordinary Rosehip Seed Oil, on the other hand, is a little bit thinner. When I have them on each of my hands, I can feel that the Ordinary Oil is a little bit thinner in consistency. It takes a little bit less effort to blend out, but once you blend it out, it's very similar to this. It's leaves a very subtle glow and f makes your skin feel very moisturized and i especially love to mix the ordinary oil with a foundation or a more matte foundation to sheer it out and to give it a little bit of a glow so i usually with one pump of foundation i will put one to two drops of this ordinary oil and i find that it blends in with foundation very very well it doesn't separate it or anything so it plays well with base makeup if you have a layer of this underneath your makeup it will just makes everything glow but i have not yet used this underneath makeup because this is so expensive i just simply don't want to do it i only use it at night this i can feel comfortable using it anytime any way i want without feeling any kind of guilt now let's get on to my final thought about these two products. You can probably guess how I feel based on what you hear from me, but I do like both of these products. The Drunk Elephant Facial Oil, I like to use it at night, um, and I find it because it's so moisturizing and the texture is a little bit thicker than the ordinary oil, it really does make you feel moisturized and it's good for nighttime. So you can top it off um, at, as the last step of your skincare routine. And when you wake up the next morning, your skin will be so nice and hydrated and just very plump and dewy. This, on the other hand, is very easy to use. And it has all of the strengths of this, but in a lighter form. So that makes it very versatile. I can use it during the day. I can mix it in with different products, I can use it at night, and even though it's not as moisturizing as this, it's not so much less moisturizing, it's pretty comparable, but with the price tag, I would think that this beat this out of the park, <laughs> because this is just so nice, the price is like one seventh of this, and you don't feel guilty of using more products, and it's just really easy and keep in mind this is not marula oil this is rose hip rose hip seed oil but if you want to try marula oil from the ordinary i'm pretty sure it's gonna be even more spot on with this product but i again i don't think facial oils different types of facial oils make that much of a difference because an oil is just to seal in your skincare product and keep the water from evaporating out of your skin and keep all the moisture, all the benefits of the skincare product underneath your skin. Different facial oils to me is totally fine. Um, so yeah, this one and this one are both great. This one is a little bit better because it does everything this one does but in a more versatile way and with a cheaper price tag. That is this video. I hope you find it helpful. I hope I didn't talk too much and I hope it makes sense. Um, thank you so much for your feedback and your encouragement during this time. I take all of your feedback and I want to make my video better in the future. So thank you so much for watching my videos and subscribe to my channel if you find uh, my channel entertaining and helpful and give this video a thumbs up so that I know you like this kind of video. I haven't reviewed skincare in a while so I figure it's time to get back to it and I think this battle kind of video is what you guys really like so leave me a comment um, to tell me what you think about this product or what 
other facial oils you think is special and what I should try next. That's it. I hope you have a great day. I will let you go. And remember, don't flop.